Hi guys, this is Miles and welcome to my channel. Today, we will cook creamy mussel and mushroom pasta. If you like seafood, this recipe is for you. So, let's get started. We will start with our pasta. First, we will boil 3 cups of water and then we will add 1 and 1 half cup of pasta. This is pusili. You can choose any kind of pasta that you like. And then we will put half teaspoon of salt. Mix it and then we will cover this for less than a minute of what is on the package direction. This is important because later on we will toss this pasta with the rest of the ingredients and we don't want to overcook our pasta. And while waiting, we will prepare the rest of the ingredients. This is 500 gram or half kilo of cooked mussel removed from the shell. And then I have here four pieces of dried shiitake mushrooms which I have soaked for two hours. It works well though it is still best to soak it overnight. Next we have half of large white onion, minced. And then I have here some French green beans from my previous recipe. You can also use other vegetables. You can use broccoli, cabbage, or carrots. Or you can use some other kinds of mushroom. Now that some of our ingredients are all set, before we start cooking, I would like to invite you to please support and subscribe to my channel. If there's any recipe that you might want to be prepared, just let me know by commenting down below. Now, let's start cooking. Let's heat our pan and melt 1 tablespoon of butter. And then, we will saute our onions and mussels. We will also add in our skinny beans followed by our mushroom. We will be sautéing this for about 2 minutes. At this point, I've decided to add 3 tablespoons of olive oil. We will need that oil later, but for now, let's just continue sautéing our vegetables. Next, we will drag the vegetables on the side. From those oil that flows at the side of the pan, we will put 1 tablespoon of flour. And then, we will mix it with the rest of the ingredients. This is the secret in making this pasta so creamy. I don't know what happened, but my camera didn't film the part where I put the pasta. But yes, you will put the pasta, the cooked pasta, and then you will add 1 cup of milk. And then, season this with dried basil leaves and some Spanish paprika. If you don't have these ingredients, of course, you can always use fresh basil or you can also use parsley. And for the Spanish paprika, you can use ground black pepper or ground white pepper. And then we will finish this with 2 tablespoons of fish sauce or patis. Now, this creamy m and pasta is ready to serve. And again, if you like this dish, please don't forget to click the like button. And also, please subscribe to my channel. You can also click the notification button so that you'll be updated whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching. Bye!